Hey guys, I'm back. I know you have been so in anticipation. That doesn't make sense. I know you've been anticipating my next video. So I'm so happy that um, I'm doing another one. So I'm so happy you're watching. Thank you so much for coming back to our channel. Um, it's always a treat to have you here. Let's hop right in. We are going to discuss how to survive the day that's coming up in two days, Valentine's Day. Some people don't like, don't like Valentine's Day and that is totally fine. I don't like Valentine's Day. I'm not like a hater. I'm not like one of those people that's going to like, that's going to like hate on everyone else's mood during that day. I love the mood during that. Well, see my problem with Valentine's Day is that the mood for that day is really weird for me because I feel like, yes, there's just so much love in the air, but there's also just as much like irritation and aggravation because like there's so much hype on this day and it's like such a day where it's like you have to show your love and appreciation for someone otherwise you don't love and appreciate them um which is like show your love and appreciation every day we wouldn't have this problem but there are so many things i need to go over so let's not talk about why i don't like valentine's day oh one more thing it valentine's day just gives me anxiety whether i've been single whether i've been in a couple the day itself even as a kid like i would spend like a week as a kid writing valentine's like most kids do it like the night before and like throw it together real quick and their moms are like there you go no i would spend like a week even like curating like do i want the barbie cards the brats cards like what message are these scooby-doo cards sending like i i've always been like that but valentine's day gives me a lot of anxiety because i was like each person has to have the perfect card if this card says this they're gonna think that I don't really want to be friends with them anymore. I don't know why I'm like that, but I am. So that's why I don't like Valentine's Day. And even in like couples, I don't really want to stress it that much. And boyfriends I've had in the past have always been like, let's go out. Like, let's do this. Let's do that. And I'm like, it's just another day. Like, we don't have to do anything like crazy. Like, let's just order takeout and like watch a movie and hang out. Like, I don't even need a present because if you're getting me heart-shaped jewelry, I'm gonna throw it away. I'm just kidding. I would never throw it away. Yeah, I have. Um, but like I said, this advice isn't only for the fabulous singles out there like myself, but it's for couples too. Like everyone stresses during Valentine's Day, whether you want to admit it or not, it's kind of a stressful day. So. The first thing I want to cover about Valentine's Day is activities on Valentine's Day. And by activities, I mean like going to the movies or going out to eat or doing this or doing that. So couples, the first discussion you need to have with your significant other when January slash February rolls around, probably at the beginning of February, might be better to have it sooner rather than later. Um, ask, especially if it's a new relationship, ask your significant other, is Valentine's Day something that's important to you and if they ask you if valentine's day is something you like to participate in be honest it's so simple if you're like a fanatic about valentine's day i have like two or three friends that are just like over the moon about valentine's day and they love it and i'm here for them and i love that energy tell your significant other that and then you gotta be specific don't be dropping hints i mean like hints here and there are fine especially if like gifts and stuff you don't want to be that straightforward person because that's um not great either but like if you don't like getting flowers say i'm not really a big fan of flowers but be honest so simple and it can save so many problems anyway back to the activities of the day save yourself the hassle of getting upset with each other because you the hints were not picked up or the hints were not dropped correctly it'll solve so many problems but like i said being open and 100 percent honest is the best way to go if valentine's day is important to you say yes it's important to me and i would love to do along the lines of these things or say no valentine's day isn't really that important to me be adamant be like serious be like i'm not just saying that to say that i'm saying it because 
I'm being honest. If you're someone who's all about Valentine's Day and your significant other is not all about Valentine's Day, find that compromise in between and be like, okay, you don't want to go out to eat because it's so crazy and hectic. Let's cook. Let's cook a nice meal together or let's do this or do that. You don't want to leave the apartment. Okay, let's make the apartment so fun and so crazy. Pull a Kanye. Decorate that with roses everywhere and just be like, happy Valentine's Day. Just kidding. Don't do that unless it's like, you know they're going to be happy about it. Because I would be like, this is weird. Why? Anyway, single activities. Go out and have a fun night. You have other friends that are single. Other couples are going to be out. Like if I were in a couple, I want to go out with the singles because the singles are still fun and not boring. Like me and my significant other. Go out take advantage of those deals get on it i would avoid restaurants during eating times just for the fact that that's not fun and kind of awkward and cringe and weird um you can feel free to 100 percent go about your day like normal and ignore that the festivities are even happening or you can go out and you can celebrate you can wear pink and red and be like happy valentine's day everyone love you all I personally, like, when I grew up, Valentine's Day was very about, like, showing, not just, like, significant others, but showing, like, everyone. It's all about the love. Mmm. Okay, next, gifts. I kind of already talked about this a little bit, but but if they're not to the same caliber, it's awkward. Um, chocolates. Chocolates are, like, very traditional to give on Valentine's Day, but a lot of people don't like chocolate. So maybe get them other kinds of fun Valentine's Day themed candies that aren't chocolate. Or if you don't know what they like, get them a variety. Cause that shows that you care. Kind of, I guess, I don't know. Um, bears, teddy bears, stuffed animals. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my mind. If those big teddy bears come back. Those huge ones, that looks like a person could, that people have gotten into. Y'all gonna get murdered one of these days. That's all I'm saying. Wh who has room for that? No one. You don't. I certainly don't. And if you buy the knockoff ones, they just look yellowy instead of tan and their legs are too long for their body and you failed. And the real ones are like a hundred bucks. Do not spend a hundred dollars on a teddy bear. On a life size teddy bear. Please don't. And then jewelry. I've already, I've already touched on the heart-shaped jewelry. Just don't do that. My friends will come to me and they'll be like, hey, I've been dropping hints that this is what I want for Valentine's Day. They've been asking me what I want. Can you just take care of it? And I'm like, sure. Of course I would love to. Love to take care of it. I take care of it for Christmases, birthdays, Valentine's Day, everything. Hit up your friends and be like, this is kind of what I'm vibing for Valentine's Day. They mentioned maybe getting me jewelry of some kind. You want to drop these in their text messages and let them know. And I'm like, of course. Rely on your good friends um, to help you through that situation. So I looked it up. Like, what are good ways to survive Valentine's Day? <laughs> and these are so bad. They're so mean to single people. Oh my gosh. Also, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. How crazy is that? That's so exciting. I love Valentine's Day. It's so fun. It's such a great excuse to be hungover on Valentine's Day for your loved one. It says like buying yourself a bottle of wine, order a pizza. Alone pizza is better than being alone alone. Like what? Gosh, these are terrible. It says download Tinder, call your parents, throw a... It said throw a Christmas party. I don't know. I do like the idea of throwing a large party. Throw a huge party. Valentine's Day is on a Friday this year. Throw a huge Valentine's Day party. That'd be so fun. Invite couples, invite singles. Do that fun little cup thing where it's like, take in. It's complicated. Single. Interested in meeting someone tonight. I don't know. I love being single. And I have a lot of single friends. And so I know that that's how we're going to survive Valentine's Day. We're going to go out. We're going to have fun. Valentine's Day is also during... Um, like if you're in school, it's during a school day. 
so that's a lot of fun it's a friday so you know downtown house parties like it'll be crazy it'll be fun everyone's gonna be out having a good time i really don't think that any couples are gonna turn down a fun friday night just because it's valentine's day don't be a scrooge though like i said if other people love valentine's day let them love it let them have it let them do their thing like they can have their fun you can have your fun it'll be fine it'll all work out valentine's day is one day out of 365 days of the year you will be fine It'll be fine. It'll all work out. To those of you in madly in love, happy, happy Valentine's Day. To those of you madly single and so happy being single and don't see yourself in a relationship anytime soon, happy Valentine's Day to you too. I love you. You're also fun. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll be back soon with another video. Don't worry, your little head's about it. Be sh in the meantime, be sure to like this video, comment more tips that you have for surviving Valentine's Day and more how-tos you want me to do in the future. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on our notifications so you can see when I'm coming to your screen next time. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a happy Valentine's Day.